Congratulations on purchasing your new Apex 2 ceiling fan by Hunter. We'll walk you through the steps to get yours installed, but first, you'll need a few things. If you are unfamiliar with wiring or uncomfortable doing it yourself, please contact a qualified electrician. This video is being provided to supplement what is included in your Apex 2 owner's manual. Please consult it in addition to watching this video. Now, if you feel comfortable moving forward, please do the following. First, disconnect the power by turning off the circuit breakers to the outlet box that's connected with the wall switch location. Install the ceiling bracket. There are two options to securing the bracket to the ceiling. Use the machine screws provided with your existing ceiling fan rated box. You can also use the washers and wood screws included with your fan to secure a bracket to a structure with an approved electrical box. You will need to drill 964 inch pilot holes in the support structure to secure the bracket and wood screws. Next, you will need to remove the pre-installed set screw in the downrod adapter. Don't lose this, as you will need it momentarily. Feed the wires from the housing through the downrod. Hand tighten the downrod at least 4-5 to five turns until it can't be tightened anymore. Cut the wires leaving at least 8 inches extending from the downrod. The manual can be used to measure the proper length to cut and strip the wires. Strip the wires 3 8 of an inch or just under a centimeter. Replace the set screw in the downrod adapter and tighten it down with pliers. Do not hand tighten the set screw. Put the wires and the downrod through the canopy and let it sit loosely on top of the fan. Do not pick up the fan by the canopy or the wires. Place the downrod ball into the slot in the ceiling bracket. Slide the remote receiver onto the top of the bracket. Connect the black ungrounded wire from the ceiling to the black wire from the receiver. Tighten with a wire nut. Connect the white grounded wire from the ceiling to both the white wire from the receiver and the white wire from the fan. Tighten with a wire nut. Connect the yellow wire from the receiver to the black wire from the fan. Tighten with a wire nut. Connect the grounding wires from the ceiling, downrod, hanging bracket, and fan. Tighten with a wire nut. Connect the blue wire from the receiver to the blue wire from the fan. Tighten with a wire nut. Make sure each connection is secure and push the wire connections up into the outlet box. Lift the canopy into place so the screw holes from the canopy and the hanging bracket are aligned. Insert the two canopy screws found in the circle hardware bag. Lightly attach the blade arms to the motor with screws found in the hourglass hardware bag. Securely tighten after both screws are attached. Repeat for all five blade arms. Align the three blade holes with the three blade iron posts. Squeeze the blade and the blade iron posts together. Repeat for all five blades. Remove a pre-installed assembly screw from the light kit. It doesn't matter which screw you choose. Feed the 9-pin plug connector from the bottom of the motor housing through the center hole in the light kit. Align the keyhole slots in the top of the light kit assembly with the partially installed screws. Wrap the keyhole slots around the screws and twist counterclockwise. Reinstall the saved assembly screw, then tighten all three screws. Line up the colored markings with the other 9-pin plug and connect them. Carefully push all switch housing components into the switch housing. Then install the switch housing plate using the two pre-installed light kit screws. Install the included bulbs. 
Lift the globe and align the notches in the globe with the tabs in the light kit. Attach it by turning the globe clockwise until it snaps into place. Make sure to turn the power back on at the circuit breaker. Your included remote control is already paired for use. For more instructions, refer to the remote guide included with your remote. Congratulations! You've just installed your brand new Apex 2 fan.